Okay, so for this pattern, we are going to be using, I believe this is a three and a half millimeter hook. I kind of rubbed off the, um, the millimeters right here just from using it. So I believe it's three and a half millimeter, but you can use anywhere from three and a half all the way up to four millimeter crochet hooks. And then we're going to be needing three different colors of size four acrylic yarn. These are the ones I'm using, just like a brown, an orange, and a green. I'm going to use a brown for the background color. I'm going to use the orange color for the uh, tulips, like petals, and then the green will be the stem and the leaves. And I'm going to have all of these colors, um, the exact colors I'm using and brand linked below. Okay, so first we're going to start with the brown. Okay, so to start this pattern, we're going to be chaining 20. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. I'm just going to count really quick to make sure I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Yep, 20. Okay. Once you have 20 chains, you're going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So it's just the first chain, second chain from hook. Single crochet into that. And then just single crochet into every single chain down the row so that each row is going to have 19 stitches. Okay, there is row one. Then we are going to turn our work. And we are going to single crochet into the first available stitch right here. Just crochet right into there. This is the start of round two, or row two. <clears throat> okay, so one single crochet, and then the next we're going to make a puff stitch. So we're going to yarn over insert our hook into the stitch and pull up a loop and we're going to do that for a total of four times so that's one insert into that same stitch pull up a loop two three four then you're going to yarn over and pull through everything on all the loops on your hook and that's going to create like a puff stitch and then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches so there's one, two, three, okay. Then we are going to make a puff stitch into this next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over insert your hook and pull up a loop and then you're going to yarn over and pull through everything on your hook. There's our second puff stitch. We're going to single crochet into the next three stitches again. One, two, three, 
to three. Okay, make another puff stitch into the next stitch right here. And we're going to single crochet into each of the next three stitches. One, two, three. In the next stitch, we're going to make a puff stitch again. One, two, three. Pull through, okay. Then we're going to single crochet into each of the next three stitches again. One, two, and three. Then we're going to make a puff stitch into this next stitch, the second to last stitch of our row. And then we're going to single crochet into that last stitch in our row. And then you should have a total of 19 stitches per row. And then here is what it looks like when you turn your work. You should have five puff stitches. Okay. Then we are just going to single crochet into, this is our the start of our third row single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into every single stitch down the row for a total of 19 single crochets. Okay, turn your work once you get all the way down. We're going to start row four. We are going to single crochet into the first nine stitches in our row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, to the first nine, so to here. So, single crochet into that first stitch, and then single crochet into each of the next eight stitches. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and now we're going to pick up our green color for our stem. One, two, okay. It's gonna clear over here. Okay. Okay, so our tenth stitch is going to be a single crochet as well, but it's going to be green. So go ahead and add the yarn to your hook and pull it through that loop there. Pull it tight, pull everything tight, and then go ahead and make your single crochet into that tenth stitch. And I'm just going to carry these two tails here under that stitch to secure them more. So I'm going to bring this tail to the front here, and then we're going to switch back to brown by pulling it through, 
pull your green tight and bring it to the front and then you're going to crochet into the last nine stitches single crochet into the last nine stitches so there's one Seven, eight, that last stitch can be tricky, nine, okay, turn your work, and this is how it should be looking. We're going to do the exact same thing for row number five. You're going to single crochet into the nine stitches single crochet with green into the 10th stitch and then switch back to brown and single crochet in the last nine stitches. Just count and just use your fingers. Just gotta make sure. Don't skip any. Okay, pick up your green and pull it over your hook and pull it through the brown loop. I'm going to carry the brown in the next stitch. Just single crochet into that tenth stitch. Switch back to brown and single crochet into the last nine stitches. Go ahead and turn your work. <clears throat> okay, so for row six, we're going to single crochet into that first stitch, and then we're going to create a puff stitch in that second stitch space. So there's one, two, three. And then we are going to single crochet all the way to that 10th stitch and that 10th stitch is going to be green. Okay, go ahead and switch to your green color. Single crochet into that tenth stitch. Then switch back to brown. And then you're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches. Okay, there's seven. Okay, and then you're going to make a puff stitch in the eighth stitch. Like that, and then you're going to single crochet into that last stitch of the row. 
and then this one always gets in trouble. I always make it too tight. Okay. There we go. Can we work? Do like a little stretch. There we are. <clears throat> next, we are going to single crochet into the next. The first nine stitches, single crochet with green into the tenth, and then single crochet, switch back to brown and single crochet into the last nine stitches. Jilly. Oh, did you get lollipops? Those are nine packs, but I have one in the car. So there's only eight now? Oh, yep. careful. Did you have fun? Yeah, we got home just in time. Just in time? Because. because. The gardener? Nice. You know, you can't really probably see those puff stitches in this light, but that is what it should be looking like. Okay, now we are on our next row, which is the exact same. It's going to be nine single crochets, green tenth single crochet, and then nine single crochets in brown. Okay, there's nine, then we're going to switch to our green. Carry that brown under that stitch. Okay, our 10th single crochet. Switch back to brown. Drop your green down there. I always drop my colors towards the side that doesn't have the puff stitches on, just depending on what row I'm on. I don't know why, I think it's just easier. Okay, and then we're going to do nine single crochets to end this row. Turn your work. Do a little stretch. And that's what we've got so far. We're going to do the exact same thing for the next row. It's going to be nine single crochets in brown, one single crochet in green, and then nine single crochets in brown again. You okay, Matthew? Matthew, you okay? Okay. Okay, nine single crochets in brown. Grab your green. Okay. 
push that through that. I made the last stitch a little too tight. No big deal. Okay. That one single crochet in green. Switch back to brown and just drop your green hook. I dropped and dropping it to the side with no puff stitches. It doesn't matter though which side you drop it down or drop it on. Okay, and then with the brown we're going to do, we're going to make the last uh, nine stitches in the single crochet. is what it should be looking like. Turn your work. Okay, for this row, I believe this is our ninth row. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, nine rows plus a chain. Okay, you're going to single crochet into that first stitch. And then into the second stitch, you are going to make a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert hook and pull up a loop, and then pull through all. Then in the next, uh, let's see, four stitches, nope, three. Into the next three stitches, we're going to single crochet with our brown. So one, two, three and then we are going to single crochet into the next one two three four five six seven eight nine stitches with our green so we're going to drop our brown down here for a minute we're going to bring our green over to us oh. flip the yarn there hold on pull your brown tight and then pull your green tight as well okay we're going to be crocheting around this green string here and then this brown tail as well. We're going to carry it with us so that we can use it again on this side. So go ahead and crochet into the next nine stitches with our green. So we've got one, two, three, Four, five, six. Oh, I think I counted wrong. Hold on. Am I in the right stitch right here? Okay, so this was not a stitch. This was right there. That's what I did wrong. Hold on. Okay, let's start over. We've got one. Two, <clears throat> three, four, and then the fifth is not right here, it's right here. The fifth stitch is that center stitch. Six, seven, eight, and I pulled some more green out. and nine and then we're going to switch back to our brown drop your green in front of you then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches so there's one two three and then we're going to make a puff stitch into the fourth so one two and four, yarn over and pull through. And then into this last stitch that I made way too tight is just a single crochet. There we go. There we go. Turn your work. This is what it should be looking like.
And then our next row will be four single crochets with brown. So we're going to go one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to pick up our green and make four single crochets with our green. So let's see, we have one, two, three, make sure you're carrying that brown under those stitches, <clears throat> and then four. Then we're going to switch to our brown and make one single crochet with brown. Switch back to green. And the center stitch is going to be green. Okay, then we're going to make a brown single crochet into the next stitch. And then into the next four stitches, they will be green single crochets. One, two, three, and I don't know why I'm yarning over, okay, and four. And then we're going to switch back to brown. Just drop your green completely, just leave it back there, and then you're going to single crochet into the last four stitches. One, two, three, and four. So this is what your crochet project should be looking like. We are going to crochet into the first three stitches, single crochet. So there's one, two, and three. And then we are going to switch to green.
And then we're going to switch to green. And then you're going to single crochet into that next stitch here. Just once. And then we are going to add on our petal color, which is orange. Go ahead and pull that through. We are going to carry the orange tail, the green, and the brown under this stitch. This next, the next two stitches. So we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches here. There's one and two bring that orange tail forward, switch to your green, and then single crochet into that middle stitch with our green. Then we are going to single crochet again with the orange into the next two stitches here. So there's one And two. Then we're going to switch to green again. Bring your orange to the back. You can drop that. Single crochet with your green. Switch to brown. Nope, we still have a green. Then you're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four, five, six with our brown. One, two, three, 
three, four, five, and six. And then we are going to cut our green because we are, do not need it anymore. Go ahead and turn your work. <clears throat> and this is what the front should be looking like. Next, we are going to single crochet with our brown into the next one, two, three, four, five stitches. So we've got one two, three, four, five. Then we're going to pick up our orange. It's back here. Just wrap it around and pull it through our brown. Pull the brown tight. And you're going to still carry your stitches or carry your brown yarn under your current orange stitches and you're going to single crochet into the next two stitches with our orange so there's one and two and then we are going to double crochet around the post of this single crochet so we're going to go under the V like this instead of going through the stitch here, we're going to put our hook under this V and double crochet. So it's going to look like that. And then we're going to single crochet with our orange in the next three stitches. So there's one, and make sure you're carrying that brown. Two, three, and then yarn over and double crochet under the V here for our next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to single crochet into the next two stitches with our orange still. that then switch back to brown drop the orange in the back and then you're going to single crochet into the next five stitches with brown one two three four and five That's what it should be looking like. Turn your work. For the next row, we are going to single crochet into that first stitch with our brown. And then to the second stitch, we're going to make a puff stitch. Okay, and then we are going to single crochet into the next two stitches. So there's one, two. Then we are going to grab our orange. Pull it through. And we are going to single crochet twice into the next two stitches. So we've got one and two. And then we are going to double crochet into the, under the, po the post of this double crochet as our next stitch. So we're not going to double crochet into 
this stitch right here, we're going to yarn over. And it's a little tricky, but I'm going to try and do my best. Okay. Here, let's see here. Yarn over and kind of bring your hook underneath this double crochet and pull up a loop like that. And then yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And then this is just going to sit here. And then, so that took the place of this stitch. So skip this stitch. We're going to single crochet into the next one, two, three, four, five stitches. So let's go. Oh, lost my. Okay. One. Make sure you carry the brown now. <coughs> two. Three. Four. Five. And we are not crocheting to the stitch. We are going to yarn over and crochet under the post of this double crochet from the previous row. So let's see if we can film this best I can, get under that post, pull through, like that, so it looks like this, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two. So skip this stitch here, and then we're going to single crochet into this last orange stitch, and then into the next. So two orange single crochets. Switch back to brown, and then go ahead and single crochet into the next two stitches. Then we're going to make a puff stitch into the second to last stitch. Just one, two, three, four. Then we're going to single crochet into that last stitch there. I'm going to wiggle my hook in there. Oop. Let's see. Okay. So the back's going to look a little messy, but this is what the front will be looking like. Okay, so next row, we are going to single crochet into the first four stitches. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to pick up our orange. And then go ahead and single crochet into these next two stitches here. So there's one, two. And then in place of our third stitch here, we are going to double crochet behind the post of this double crochet from the previous row. So you just put your hook under it, pull through, whoop, yarn over, pull through two. Turn over, pull through two. And then we're going to crochet into the next five stitches. So make sure you don't accidentally crochet into this stitch right here. This is the one we're skipping because we, instead of crocheting into here, we crocheted over this post or under this post from our previous row. So go ahead and single crochet into the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to skip this stitch right here because we're going to double crochet under the post of this double crochet from the previous row. 
So yarn over, put your hook under that double crochet post, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then single crochet into the next two stitches with orange. One, two, then we're going to pick up our brown yarn and drop the orange to the back and then single crochet into the last four stitches. Okay, and this is what it should be looking like. And here is what the back looks like. <coughs> Okay, to start the next row, we are going to single crochet with our brown into the next four, the first four stitches of the row. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to switch to our orange. tight and we're going to single crochet into the next two stitches right here. So we've got one, two. For our third stitch we're going to double crochet into underneath the post of the double crochet from our previous row. So yarn over, yarn over, and pull, push your hook through that post underneath of it and pull this loop through and pull it up so it looks like this then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two then we're going to crochet into the next five stitches one two three four five skip this one so one two three, four, five. Then we're going to double crochet through the post of this double crochet from our previous row. So yarn over and kind of insert your hook under that post, pull this loop through yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the last two loops on your hook. Then single crochet into this stitch and this stitch, these next two stitches, because this one we're skipping because we made this double crochet instead. So single crochet, single crochet. Okay, then switch back to brown, drop your orange to the back, the front this time and single crochet into the last four stitches and then chain your work and this is what it should be looking like okay for the next row we are going to single crochet into the first four stitches with our brown. So we've got one, two, three, and four. And then grab our orange. And we're going to single crochet into the next two. Right here and here. One, two, and then we're going to switch to brown and single crochet into the next stitch right here.
Oh. Okay, and then we are going to switch to our orange. And we are going to double crochet behind the post of uh, the double crochet from our previous row. So yarn over. And so you find the post and you pull through. Pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so we are not going to crochet into this stitch because we skipped it and instead made this stitch. So then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So right here, one. two, and three. Then we are going to double crochet behind this post from this double crochet. And then crochet into this, these last two stitches here, single crochet. One and two. Gently pull that brown yarn. Oh, actually, no, no, no. Okay. Then we are going to switch back to our brown. Pull tight. And we are going to this stitch back here. We are going to single crochet in with our brown. This one right. Let's see if I can get that right here, this one right here, so pull that through, and then we are going to switch back to our orange, and <clears throat> single crochet into the next two, then switch back to the brown yarn, and then drop your orange, and then single crochet into the last four stitches. Okay. Turn your work. Next, we are going to single crochet into that first stitch. Then we are going to make a puff stitch into the second stitch. And then we are going to single crochet into the next two stitches. Then we're gonna switch to our orange yarn and single crochet into that first orange stitch then switch back to brown next we are going to single crochet into the next three stitches so there's one two And we're going to reach into that stitch where that double crochet is for that third stitch. Then switch back to orange. And you're going to double crochet underneath the post of the double crochet from our previous row. So yarn over. Try and get your hook around there to go under it. And pull this loop through. Oh, hold on yarn over okay yarn over go underneath that post pull it up then yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through the last two and then we're not crocheting into this stitch, we're going to crochet into this one right here, this middle stitch. So 
single crochet into this middle stitch and then yarn over and double crochet behind the post of the double crochet from our previous row. So yarn over and then get it underneath that post, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, like that. Then go ahead and switch to the brown yarn. And you're going to single crochet into one, two, three stitches right here. One, two, and three. Switch back to orange and crochet, single crochet into the next stitch. Switch back to brown. Hold tight, drop your orange, and we're going to single crochet into the next two. Then we're going to make a puff stitch into the second to last stitch. One, two, three, four. Yarn over and pull through all. And then single crochet into that last stitch there that I made too tight again. There we go. Okay. Turn your work. Then we're going to single crochet into the next nine stitches. So we've got one, two, three, four, and then pick up this yarn, this orange yarn, and carry it with us. So crochet around it with this fifth stitch. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then we're going to switch to the orange and single crochet into that center stitch. Switch back to brown and then you can cut off your yarn, your orange yarn from here. You're not going to need it again. So just cut that off and single crochet into the last nine stitches of the row. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And that's what your flower should be looking like. Turn your work and you're going to single crochet into every stitch across for 19 single crochets total. Then we're going to turn our work and you're going to again single crochet all the way across for a total of 19 single crochets.
What's up? What's up? Oh, you did a good job, Jill. You look beautiful. You're welcome very much. Can you close the bedroom door though? We don't want any snakes getting in. And snakes. Snakes and lizards. Sorry, snakes. My bad. Okay. Snakes. Yeah. Okay. Turn your work. And then we are going to single crochet into the first stitch. Then we're going to make a puff stitch into the second stitch. And then we're going to crochet, single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then we're going to make another puff stitch into the next stitch. And then we're going to crochet, single crochet into the next three stitches. Then we're going to make a puff stitch into the next stitch. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. Then we're going to make a puff stitch into the next stitch. Then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. Then into this next stitch, the second to last stitch, we're going to make a puff stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into this last stitch here. Turn your work. And then we are going to, for the last row, we are going to single crochet all the way across for a total of 19 single crochets. So we've got one, two, Ten. Fifteen. <clears throat> okay. Okay, now we're going to single crochet a border all the way around the rectangle. Chain one. And then you're going to single crochet as best as you can evenly down the row. Kind of insert your hook anywhere that's spaced evenly from the last stitch.
does not have to be perfect. Just try to get the same number of stitches on both sides, on both of the vertical sides. Now that we're at the end, count how many single crochets you have here. Let's see. I'm not going to count this chain one that I made, so I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have about 26 single crochets on this side, so I'm going to try my best to get 26 single crochets when I come back up this way. So at the corner, chain one and then go right back into that same stitch and that's going to give us more of a angled corner instead of a rounded corner and then we are just going to single crochet into each of the chains from our starting chain so there should be 19 that you crochet into and I'm going to crochet this tail in so you'll see that just to hold it in place so we've got one two, three, four, five, oh, went down too low for that one, Okay, when you get to the end, chain one, then crochet right back into that same stitch, move this tail out of the way, and then we're going to try and get 26 single crochets up this side now. when you get to the end chain one crochet right back into there and then you're going to single crochet across there should be 19 single crochets for this top row 
Okay, when you get to the end, just go ahead and insert your hook into that stitch space from the beginning, that chain one, and then just slip stitch them together. You can cut the tail from here. You want to cut long tails so that it's easier for you to weave them all, sew them all together, crochet them all together when you're done. Go ahead and do that. Just yarn over and pull through to tie off. I'm not sure what just happened there. Okay. And then there is your finished tulip blanket. Um, I don't want to say blanket square, but it's like a blanket rectangle. Again, just go ahead and crochet as many of these as you need to get to your blanket size. And then you can attach them with a macro stitch or single crochet them together, whatever you prefer, whatever's easiest for you.